Governor Abbott today announced he is creating a task force to address the rise of street takeovers in the state's biggest cities. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Daniel Marine and I'm Jennifer Sanders. The governor said DPS will assist local law enforcement and some of those agencies say they need the help. Our Ryan Chandler reports. A mob of rogue motorists leaving an officer injured in Austin. Another burning rubber and blocking traffic in DFW. So-called street takeovers spin out of control. Don't do it. You will find yourself arrested, your vehicles impounded. We will do what we can to you know, seek justice and make sure these people um, answer to what, what's going on. As local police warn of a rise in the crime, Governor Abbott announced Wednesday DPS will form a task force to tackle it statewide at a time when police groups say they need the help. Now more than ever, because every agency is short staffed. Every agency is, is you know, undermanned, under equipped. The governor's office says the task force will focus on statewide investigations of organized crime and will aim to seize cars and weapons. It took 23 minutes to get a single officer to arrive on scene there. That's because we had no units available across the city. Austin Police's advocacy group says that kind of investigation is something they can no longer do. We had at one time officers who were assigned to uh, searching, actively searching for these types of events on social media and other uh, platforms. It could have been detected. And it wasn't. But the most important decision is in the public's hands. Your, your life can change in a heartbeat. All it takes is that one person to do something really stupid, run a red light, run, run from the police. It's just not worth it. Ryan Chandler, KXAN News. And DPS is directing Texans to report any suspicious activity to the I Watch Texas app, but call 911 if you see a street takeover about to happen. And awesome Mayor Kirk Watson responded to the governor's announcement. He says he supports the move to form the task force. I'm, I'm looking forward for that task force to be in place because I think it will be a it's it's one of the ways the state can help local government um, and I'm, I'm pleased to see they're doing it. And the mayor reiterated street takeovers aren't just happening in Austin. We told you that in January, police in San Antonio and Fort Worth responded to takeovers along highways and major intersections, some of which were deadly. Well, taking a closer look, Governor Abbott's office created another kind of task force in 2021 on concert safety. This was following the Astroworld tragedy in Houston. Ten people died and 300 were injured in a crowd surge. The task force was created to research the most effective ways to keep concert goers safe.